guys, so today is day two of my face looking like this. Like I really feel like I'm pretty much locked up in the house until this goes away. And that I am not happy about. Um, I called the med spa this morning um, just to call and pretty much make sure that I'm not losing my mind and that this is normal. Um, because like I said, whenever I got it done last time, my face didn't, my face, I feel like the next day looked back to normal. Whereas this looks like I just got the procedure done 30 minutes ago, right? It looks like I just got it done. And it's been 24 hours. Um, so I called this morning to get like an update on it. Pretty much give them like an overall um, update as far as my skin condition. Like I told them about how I still have severe redness. Like I have um, a lot of bruising. My face is super swollen. And um, I talked to the, like, the manager and she had said that this is normal um but she had said that the reason why i probably didn't um experience the same result last time was because this time the esthetician did a much more aggressive treatment i guess on the skin pin like you can increase the depth of the needles and as far as like how deep it goes into the skin and she was telling me that like of course the deeper that you go and the more aggressive it is the better the results but you also have a much more um, or a much longer downtime. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, I wish someone had explained that to me. And that's something that I did not like and that I'm not too happy about. It's because I feel like they should have told, like, I had knew that there would be like some redness and like some downtime again like I've done it before. But I wish that they had told me up front that they were gonna be doing a more aggressive treatment. So that way I could be much better prepared. And like I said, I thank God y'all that I do not have anything important to do <laughs> because I'm like, had I had something like planned, I would be pissed. Again, I look crazy, but I wanna like really give you guys like real time updates as far as like how it's really looking. And shoot, I better see some real big results. I can say though, one thing that I do notice off the bat is that my pores here are a lot smaller just within the first 24 hours i can already tell a difference here in my pore size compared to how it was before the treatment and i also noticed that right here along my lash lines that those have decreased as well look my face you can like barely see them now but like right now i just feel like like even the um the cable guy or the direct tv guy just came to relocate our um, cable box, just kind of swap it out. And as soon as he, <laughs> since I answered the door, I like warned him and I was like, please ignore my face. Like I'm kind of going through like a, a bit of a skin crisis right now. So just please ignore me. He was like, oh no, don't worry about it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, sorry, you have to look at this because this is not cute. She did tell me though, that I could come in um, for a complimentary high frequency treatment. And um, I'm gonna assume that it's some sort of it's not a chemical or anything like it's not anything that's gonna make this even worse but she said that it's some sort of like treatment i'm not even quite sure what it is but it's supposed to help with the redness kind of help calm my skin down um and then she also told me to take some supplements called arnica i think I, what she said Ar it's it's spelled a-r-n-i-c-a and it's supplements that'll help with um, the bruising and the swelling. And I looked it up online. I can get it from um, like Target or like GNC, somewhere like that. But apparently it's like um, tablets, like natural tablets that um, help with like bruising and swelling and that people can take like after they have like accidents or things like that, injuries, things like that. So I'm gonna go get some, or not, I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna have Dion stop um at target on his way home and get some of those supplements and then also i'm going to take some um she had said that aquaphor is going to be really really good to kind of help um speed up the healing process so i'm going to have dion get some of that from um target as well and she just told me to apply it all over my face um and you know massage it in and that should help speed up the healing process for all of my little abrasions there but other than that um like i said the direct tv guy just came and swapped out the router y'all i'm so excited for you guys to see the project that we are doing <laughs> i'm so excited i told you guys about how we're we're trying to finish this 
by the end of the year. Not quite sure if it'll be finished out, but we're gonna try. But um, I'm so glad that all of the boxes and stuff are now in our room. Um, if you guys are just tuning in to vlog week, <clears throat> pretty much um, we had our internet router and our main cable box out here. And so all of those things were wired into the wall, which was not a problem at all. But because we're about to start working on this space here, we just thought that it'd be 10 times easier to minimize the amount of wires that are plugged into the wall, um, just to make things easier for whenever we start working on it. So now, essentially what it is, is here's our room. So now we have everything just hardwired in here versus it being hardwired out there. And then out here, all we have now is just this one plug and we moved our wireless receiver that was in our room out here so i'm so excited about that because we have like a whole idea as far as like pretty much how we envision this wall to look and so pretty much like the big thing will be knocked out hopefully will be done tomorrow i just love house projects you guys i literally just love like the, i think that for me the best thing about having bought well having built and designed our own house and just even owning the house is the fact that we can pretty much do whatever we want. Y'all, it's gonna be so dope. But I cannot wait, I cannot wait to see it all come to life, especially because I'm a very, very visual person. So, um, of course, you guys know that I already did my little bootleg mock-up digital rendition of like how I think it's going to look. So I'm anxious to see if it ends up looking like how it looks in my mind. So I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, I have to, I'm um, gonna leave here in about 15 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off my coffee for the morning, um, watch a little TV, um, hit the appointment, come straight back home because I'm not going anywhere in public, and then edit the first video for vlog week, and then I'm going to um, cook dinner, which again, is gonna be on Dion to go get the ingredients. Y'all, I'm, like, I'm like, I can't go nowhere in public, so I'm like, I have to like, make a list for Dion whenever he comes home and then I'll get started on dinner. All right, y'all, so quick update here is what my face is looking like this evening. Um, some parts of my face, have started to kind of sort of heal. Like it's not as red as it was this morning. Um, also the areas on the sides are not as dark as it was. Um, so it's like very little progress. Because Dion beat me home today, I asked him to go ahead and just prep the chicken, which he did. Um, all he has to do was just slice the chicken breast because be, they were already thawed out. So I just had him slice it, like pre-slice it. like so, which makes them easier to stuff. And then I have to go ahead and actually cook the spinach. Um, so here is my little pan. I'm gonna put this whole bag. Actually, right now it has some olive oil on it. Not a whole lot. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the spinach in here. And then I'll add a little bit of like lemon pepper and garlic seasoning and then let it simmer. How do you, whenever you do these, how do you usually do them? In the air fryer. Oh, I'll just pour them on in there and just like I do the regular fries. You got like all over anything? Mm mm. Don't need it. How, how long and how much? Um, I do like half a bag at a time on 400 for about 15 minutes. Okay, shoot. Oh, I got your eyes closed. You can get some of your eyes open. I'm just kidding, shoot with my eyes closed. Okay, right. No, you I don't. <laughs> you don't. I, I just was closing my eyes. Okay, so the spinach is simmering. I'm gonna go ahead and actually melt some butter because whenever you stuff the chicken um, with the spinach and feta, you wanna top it with breadcrumbs and a little bit of butter. A little tiny, not a lot. I love, babe, uh -uh, I'm cooking. I don't say what you do when you're cooking. Bye. Okay, bye, bye. Okay, you see how he, honestly, listen to him when he's cooking. 
Okay, bye. This is healthy. <laughs> He's ready about how much food I'm gonna put in there. Um, okay, I'm gonna heat up like half a stick of butter. I'm gonna cover it with some saran wrap just to make sure it doesn't go everywhere. Okay, so there we go. Butter, put it in the microwave. And while the spinach is still cooking, I'm gonna just take the chicken breast and just pop them in this um, glass dish because I will end up baking the chicken, which makes this, this is why this is so easy because you can just bake the chicken. <clears throat> I'm also with our meal or with the chicken, I'm gonna make some um, cheap potato fries. Um, these are the ones that I love to get from the store. They're pre-made. We have made um, fries from scratch before or these fries from scratch before. But if you have ever made sweet potato fries from scratch, you guys know how long they take to cook. They take forever. Never mind, I don't need you. Oh. Never mind, I don't need you. Okay, I also just realized that I forgot to tell Dion to season the chicken. <laughs> so, um, I don't like to season it too, too much because like I said, it will be covered in breadcrumbs and loaded butter. And also the, um, Spinach is really seasoned as well as feta cheese will make it like, will bring in all the taste. So I don't like to over season the chicken, but of course I wanna season it with something. So just taking this season that we always use, it's called, the brand is Badia, I think, and it's the complete seasoning. And again, this is more so for the taste and flavor because you know, you want it to be flavorful. Okay, so here's the sauteed spinach. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in, actually I'm gonna go ahead and cut this back on. Put it on low just to melt the cheese because you want it to kind of be like a like a mixture almost so i feel like that should be good enough but and basically it's just combining together to make like a really cool not like really cool a really good yummy feta and spinach mix there's only two more steps left so here's the feta mix it's the feta and spinach I'm going to just take these chicken breasts and then just take the mix and then just stuff the breast. Like so, so like here's one right here. Uh-oh, if I can turn around, like there's a stuffed one. Okay, get the butter and then just drizzle the butter on top all right there we go and actually i forgot one more thing can't forget the breadcrumbs i'm gonna just take these and then sprinkle these on top okay and there we go there's our stuffed chicken i'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the oven for like maybe like 30 40 minutes at 350 and then we shall feast and then also again we have the fries going in the air fryer. So here is the finished product. I've already kind of started eating y'all, I'm starving. And babe, come here. Okay, moment of truth. Gonna have this one taste test my stuffed chicken. Not the french fries, the chicken, babe. Tell me what you think. This is all right. Don't hate, please. It's better than the food you make. I know it's really good. Okay. Wait, do you remember when I made this for you? Like. One Valentine's Day? Yeah, it was the surprise of my life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was. It's really good though. So my stuffed chicken is a winner. I actually think this one is better. I think this is the best one you've ever made. My stuffed chicken? Mm -hmm. I know, I feel like I get better every time I make it. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and probably just eat our dinner, um, chill out for the night. I have to edit tomorrow's vlog and start prepping for our project tomorrow. We need to move into all the furniture in there. So now it's all ah! open and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and hope you guys not get tired of looking at me looking like a vampire. So make sure you guys come back though for tomorrow's vlog to see the living room transformation. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will catch you guys next time. Bye guys.